What is good guys, today we are gonna be talking about how to mix your vocals on a two track beat in FL Studio. If your vocals have been sounding like they just don't vibe well with the beat or they often clash, then stick around for this video because I'm gonna show you two different ways on how to fix this issue. Definitely watch this whole video, that way you can see the final product and hopefully this will fix your mix issues. So I have a project open here. As you can see, you have the beat stem right here and then you have my lead vocals right here. Let's take a listen to hear what this sounds like. You know that I already won, it's been done. I ain't living just for fun. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I take them blessings as they come, hear them run. That's the sound of all my enemies, they can't get to me. I keep praying for that energy, let my life be seen. Sick. By the way, this is recorded with my Drive vocal preset. If you guys like this vocal preset, link is in the description. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna hear, there's some choir vocals in the beat that kind of clash with my lead vocals. So for the first step, it's just gain staging. I've mixed hundreds of songs in my life and the biggest thing I notice is that a lot of people just leave their beat stem at zero. They just leave the beat at zero dB. I mean, look at this beat right? It, there's no headroom in it at all. What you want to do is use the clip game feature right here and just turn it down to negative seven or negative anywhere between negative seven to negative nine dB, depending on how loud the beat actually is. A lot of times producers, they master their beat, which means there's zero dB headroom, which is bad for vocal recording. <laughs> I try not to touch the beat in general because if it's a good beat, you won't have to deal with the clashing of your lead vocals. But in some cases like this, you're going to have to do some extra steps. Before you even start recording at all, you're gonna wanna turn that beat down and definitely use the clip game feature and not the mixer fader. I actually posted a full beginner's guide on why we should do this before every mix. So if you wanna watch that video, the link is right here. Let's say that you listen to Key Wave, you turn down the beat, and you use the clip game feature, but my vocals are still clashing with the beat, and it just does not sound like it's standing out. It doesn't feel like my vocals are sitting on top of the beat. Well, we do have a fix for that as well, and it is free. However, it, it is a little bit more work than just turning down the beat. We're actually gonna be using a sidechain option within Patcher. So when we open up the mixer channel, you're gonna see that within the playlist and the mixer, we got the beat assigned, and then we got the record track assigned. This is where all my lead vocals are. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, let's right click the beat track and say sidechain to this track only. Let's go to the beat track. And then in the beat track, let's open patcher. And then you're gonna right click the preset arrows and select multiband sidechain. Boom. We're gonna leave the settings as is. We're actually gonna go straight to map. What we're gonna do is right click the map, go to outputs, go to audio, and select your record track. Make sure that's checked on. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag this record track and connect it to the side chain here. Let's open up this parametric EQ. Just double click this parametric EQ so you guys can kind of see what's happening here. So let's go back to surface. If I turn side chain up all the way, you're gonna see that the beat is gonna sound weird. It's gonna sound like some parts of that beat is gonna be turned down. I'll explain what's happening here in a second. So let's turn up this side chain here. If we press inspect, you're gonna hear the vocals. You know that I already won, it's been done. I ain't living just for fun. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I take them blessings as they come. Here. It's basically turning down the parts where the vocals need to sit within that beat. So let's turn back inspect sidechain to turn it back on so it's just a beat. So a good rule of thumb, you're gonna see that the levels are gonna be sitting around zero for now, but when we play it, and turn up the side chain, the levels are all going to be bouncing and turning down. We wanna make sure that the side chain levels here are going to be at around negative six. You don't wanna turn it down more than that really, um, depending on the song, I guess. In my case, I'm gonna be at around that negative six dB range. So let's play it. C 
seen. Walk by faith, you got me right. You promised me you hold my life. You know that I already won. It's been done. So right there is where I would want it. Now what you want to do is attach the recording track to the master channel. That way you can hear your vocals again. So let's hear what it sounds like. You know that I already won. It's been done. I ain't living just for fun. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I take them blessings as they come. Hear them run. That's the sound of all my enemies. They can't get to me. I keep praying for that end. I mean, there you go. Let's hear what it sounds like before and after with the patcher. So let's hear what it sounds like before first. You know that I already won. It's been done. I ain't living just for fun. Here's what it sounds like after. You know that I already won. It's been done. I ain't living just for fun. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I take them blessings as they come. Hear them run. That's the sound of all my enemies. They can't get to me. I keep praying for that energy. Let my life be seen. The one thing that you just got to make sure you look out for is you don't want to overuse that sidechain feature. You know that I already won. It's been done. I ain't living just for fun. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I take them blessings as they come. Yeah. It's really easy to overuse, um, so you just got to be careful. You don't want to take away too much of that beat volume so you, people can't hear it. A little sidechain goes a long way. If I were to be mixing this without being live right now, I would just be doing a whole bunch of A-B testing. A lot of, a lot of that. I hope that helps your guys' two-track mix problems. Let me know in the comments below if it did and what else would you want fixed. Thank you guys so much for your time. Have a blessed day. Peace. Hey guys, if you like that video, then you'll love the FL Studio Essentials Bundle. It's created to transform and enhance your FL Studio mix journey. I would encourage you to check it out if you're tired of buried vocals and muddy mixes. Link is below. We'll see you in the next one.